I did what I <laughs> we are here today to celebrate the memory of a truly beloved cat, Alexandra Peabody, son of Poopy and Kite, a good, good kitty. He is in the place where all cats go, a small subdivision of animal heaven called Whiskerville, where the rivers flow with milk, and the trees are filled with tuna. Montgomery and Bunny, without this cat in your lives, you will notice yourselves ultimately buying a lot less cat food. It is our curse as human beings to outlive our beloved feline friends. We must say goodbye, feel sad, and finally get another kitty. A different kitty to love and pet and clean up after. It is the cycle of kitties. A moment of silence, please for Alexander. Everything would have happened nicely if I hadn't done anything. Hey, Brendan, there you are. What's up? It's Mitch. Hey, uh, Mitch? Yeah. From the fifth grade, somewhere you ain't been yet, my man. Nice, nice to meet you. How, how you doing? I'm doing well. How's fourth grade treating you? I uh, can't complain. I gotta tell you something real quick here. What's that? I hear through the grapevine you might be, might be going out with the Lonnie girl. You know Lonnie, right? I, I, I'm not going out with her. I mean, I, I know her. I mean. Oh come on, man! What are you doing? You're denying it. Come on. Man. I'm not going out. I mean, I, I know Lonnie, and I'm here as a friend, my man. Right. <sighs> There's only one way out, Brandon. You gotta break up with her before she breaks up with you. You saying break up? beat her to breaking up with me? Man. Mitch, look, I don't know you that well, but I, you used to go out with Lonnie. Think of me as a messenger from the future, man. Like, I'm not going out with her. Oh, man, see? Look, here, here's, here's what I'm seeing, Mitch. What? You were dating a girl that I'm semi-involved with right now. Oh, see, now that's a little different than I'm not going out with her. Suddenly, it's the word semi is used. You yeah. See, you see what you did there? Okay, just for the argument's sake, let's say uh, me and her are a thing. Right. You come up to me and tell me to break up with her. Right. What's to stop me from thinking you're going to go after her after that? Brandon, no way would I put myself in that position again, man. I'm not crazy. If I'm going to give out advice, I'm certainly going to take it myself, right? What kind of hypocrite would I be to give you some advice that I don't take myself? Um. Hello? I, I, yeah, I'm trying to think what kind of a hypocrite it would be. Um. Semi-hypocrite. Uh, yeah, that'd be the one, man. Hey, Mitch. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? It's going good. Yeah, you look good. Yeah, I put an extra O in the good because it's so good. I heard uh, I heard you and Lonnie are a thing now. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, man. I couldn't be happier. Yeah, congratulations. You can see my back teeth. I'm smiling so big. Yeah, you really are. You look, <laughs> yeah, you look very... I'm very... The laugh is coming easy now. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes a laugh feels forced, but not today. Right. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I wish I could be happy for you, man. Why can't you be? You, you went out with her after I, me and she were finished. Oh, man, don't lay it out in chronological order. Then it just sounds bad, see? You sabotaged it. No. You know, you were just trying to get back with her the whole time. No, Yes, no you were. Last week, I wanted nothing to do with the lady. I was being truthful with you, Brandon, man. Yeah. It looks bad, I know. I know right now it looks bad. I'm, I'm with the girl I was telling you to get away from, but, man, it's just a coincidence. So what's going on then, man? I mean... I'm going to check out a flick with my lady. Oh, man. Ain't nothing like love, Brandon, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, 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 no. They exchanged notes and melted it. Yeah, well, honestly, Mitch, good luck. Good luck, because you're going to need See, it. See, there you go. Be positive. Good luck. That's the Dead best woman... thing that came out of your mouth so far. Yeah, but it was a sarcastic good luck. Didn't did well, you read the subtext? I'm done with subtext. Subtext has ruined me. Oh, you fifth graders are all alike. You don't listen. You think you know everything. Mm. Jesus. You fourth graders are so quick to judge the fifth graders, man. And you're so quick to judge us for judging you. Thought there. Uh, hi, sir. Can I help you? Yeah, I've got a summons here for a Brendan Small to appear in juvenile court. Why? Racketeering. What? Oh, wait, let's see here. 
Apparently, he broke the law by riding on the wrong side of the road and caused an accident. He has to go to court for that? Hey, did I stutter? No, but it sounded like you lisped a few times. Don't make me arrest you. I don't know. What do you do with a dead fish? I don't know where to... Maybe I'll put you in a little box or something. and I'll drive you out to the... Hold on, I'm coming. John McGuirk? Uh, no, McGuirk lives next door. I'm John McGurk. Who wants to know, you? I'm afraid you're gonna have to come with me. For what? Murder one. Huh? Oh, hold on. Apparently you failed to turn in an essay that was due earlier today. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, no, I, I, I thought he was kidding. Afraid not, sir. Oh my God, this isn't my day. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used oh, against no. you. Oh no, no, no! Sammy! Don't kill children, don't want them over. Then the guy took my spot. I mean, I clearly was going to park there, and I was pretty upset. So I took a deep breath, closed my eyes, and thought, how am I going to handle this? You kick his ass. Wait, John, hold on to your thoughts uno momento, please. I'm just saying, you kick his ass or you hit his Let's car. Let's find out what Larry did, and we will get back to your comment. Continue, Larry. Well, I took a couple more deep breaths, and I realized it was stupid to get upset over a parking space. So I drove around a little more, and I found another spot, a better one. A so. better parking spot. To the victor go the spoils. And how did you feel, Larry? Tell us. Well, I, I felt really... Uh, Let us all listen to Larry and learn, for Larry will teach. Well, I, I really felt... Um, Think about what you're saying, Larry. Well, you know, I felt really, uh... Larry, yeah, just I, relax, let it flow. Yeah, for me... Don't hold it, back, man. Tell us everything. Yeah. Well, I felt, uh, for me, it was a... If we a, listen, Larry... Why don't you shut up and let me tell them? Right. Go ahead. Sorry. I felt good, you know? It was nice to, to finally, uh, for me... He felt was, good, good is good. Stop interrupting me! <laughs> I'm going out for some deep breaths. Okay, John. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that was funny what happened with Larry. Huh? He's messed up. It was a bit upsetting. Larry's a mess. John, let's talk about you. Tell me about yourself. Um, I'm not feeling too good about this. Everyone's uncomfortable at first, John. Yeah, yeah. And then what happens? What are your problems, my friend? Where? I mean, I'm not really an angry person, you know? I just, I don't, I hate people, and I hate my job. Good, acceptance. And I hate my mother. I don't know, work with that. I'll be back with my decision. Yeah! So I guess, uh, I guess that's when he hit me. When I woke up, he was running my head over the checkout thing, trying to get a price on me. John, let me first say from the bottom of my heart as a caring human being, I am sorry for your humiliation and pain, but I praise you for your determination and your lack of retaliation. You know, Dr. Frizzell, i got to be honest with you right now. You know, brutally honest. You suck at this. All you do is make people angry. Like, every time I listen to your droning voice, I get angry. And then you tell me that's my problem. But I'll tell you, I think it's you. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, I'm mad because I'm just a mad person. I'm an angry person. But that's not it. It's you. Tell me. Come on, man. No, no, no. You're not going to suck me in with that. Do you like chicken wings? Yeah, I, I do like chicken wings. Yeah, why? They're delicious. What do you think, man? Oh, I thought you were going to give me an analogy. No, there's no chicken wing analogy. Oh. You're a weird one. 